All right, so I'm in the newsroom now with Mamie Ba, who's here breaking down how this plan is going to work and how is it? Well, this is how it works. Let's break it down really quickly. So for people who are Pell Grant recipients, low-income Pell Grant recipients will get up to $20,000 loan forgiveness. Non-Pell Grant recipients will get up to $10,000. Now, a lot going on here. Now, we know 34% of adults between the ages of 18 and 24 are loan borrowers. And we also know that the majority of those borrowers are 50, more than 50% of them are white and Caucasian. Now, millions will be impacted by this, and it'll cost the government millions to foot the bill. What are the negative implications of forgiving this much debt, if any? This is the first one, is that people will start saying, well, why don't you forgive my loan? Or why don't you forgive my car loan, my home loan? The other thing is, it's several scholars have, have, have noted that it could contribute to the inflation problem, and it could. Okay, so Mamie, how are people reacting to this tonight? Well, some people are thinking this is not enough because as we look at the, you know, just one year, one academic year for college is costing you over $25,000. So a lot of people are saying to themselves, why not more? But others are saying, thank God, they're very thankful for this, thinking how they couldn't buy, you know, they, some people can't even buy a home because of how much their student loan, how much student loans they have. And some people just thinking just even a little bit goes a long way. Now coming up tonight at 10 and 11, we will be speaking with someone who went to the university University of Dayton. She'll be telling me how she feels about this. Back to you.